Now you were the creator, the writer, the producer, and the director, and you did the voiceovers for this amazing new video that First Liberty Institute put out. It's called No Better Letter, and it deals with this issue. It's an important issue of the, quote, separation of church and state. This is something mm -hmm. we hear quite often. People will talk about this as though there can be no intermingling whatsoever of church and state. And so let's talk a little bit about where this comes from. What is the history sure. of this phrase? Well, the, the phrase is from a letter written. It's not in the Constitution, like everybody seems to assume. It's from a letter written on January 1st of 1802 by Thomas Jefferson. A group from Danbury, Connecticut had written him in October of 1801. And he finally wrote him back on January 1st. They were concerned that uh, they were going to be kind of told what to teach, what to preach. And Jefferson told them, got nothing to worry about. The government's not going to tell you what to do. And so that's an interesting history. And you tell this history so well. And we'll, we'll have a link in the description to No Better Letters so people can watch this animated okay. video and see. But, but when you tell that story, that's very different from the narrative that we see many times in the secular space. You have organizations like yeah. Freedom From Religion Foundation and others that will talk yeah. about this as though Jefferson meant something entirely different than what you just said. What do you think drives that misunderstanding of this? Well, I think uh, I encourage everybody to read the original Danbury letter and then Jefferson's response. You could a five minute Google search, you can find them. And they wrote in kind of that flowery formality of the early 1800s that everybody wrote in. But uh, Jefferson was clearly putting their, their minds at ease that the government's not here to tell them what to teach, what to believe. And that's kind of, that, that misunderstanding is kind of where the, the train jumps the track with a lot of, a lot of people. They think that the government has the right to tell any, any religious group to just back off anytime they want. <laughs> and it's really not what Jefferson meant. It's the exact opposite of what Jefferson meant. Well, and you have cases which obviously First Liberty and, and other you know law firms have mm -hmm. dealt with these cases where you have bakers and photographers and others yeah. where the government actually comes in and tells them that they have to do something they're uncomfortable with when they cite their faith and they say, we're not comfortable doing this, which actually mm -hmm. seems to be the exact violation of, of the First Amendment that Jefferson and others were trying to avoid, correct? I know, I know. I, I read a, uh, uh, it was a, a review, I would call it a hit piece on the video that one of those groups did that you were talking about. And you have to wonder, did they even watch the video and did they read the original letter? Because everything they're saying is the exact opposite of what it's all about. Well, it is interesting too. I mean, we're talking about, obviously, Jefferson was president at the time. He gets this letter. He responds to the letter. The fact that there's so much focus from from that side of things, from that secular side of things on this letter and this language in this letter is so fascinating to me. And this idea that this is in the constitution, right? Which as you said, this language is not. Why do you right. think people cling so strongly to that language in a random letter and a random correspondence <laughs> from the early 1800s? Yeah. Well, I think, I think uh, a lot of people just don't want people of faith <clears throat> getting involved in politics, getting involved in government. They want to keep them out. They want to keep their values out. And so they, they wrap themselves in this separation of church and state phrase, thinking that's what it means, that they have the power to keep the faith out of government. And it's really the opposite. The wall of separation uh, protects the church from control by the state. And they kind of get it backwards. And the video even explains how it's been misunderstood. And you see the... The churches with little walls built around them, so they can't can't do anything. Right, and faith can't leave the church. Right, that's sort of the you know faith. <laughs> yeah, there's a guy over the wall. I can't get out. That kind of thing. <laughs> what is your hope? You know, this is this is a unique endeavor for First Liberty. This video. What is your hope for the it impact it has? Well, it, it was kind of inspired. I, I heard Kelly Shackelford tell the story many times of the origin of the wall of separation between church and state. And I thought, wow, what a great story. Why don't more people know this? And so I started trying to think, what's the best way to tell this story? So I started watching uh, lectures by academic scholars, and I was amazed how they could take something so interesting and make it so boring. <laughs> and I thought, when you have an epic historical event, it calls for an epic poem to kind of take it to the next level, like the midnight ride of Paul Revere. That's what makes it so historical, that it rhymes. So I thought, maybe we could do a rhyming version of this story. 
and uh, be perfect for kids because they're the ones who need to know about this. And so it took me a long time to get all the rhymes and the iambic pentameter and the story and all that right and the arc of the story. And then we recruited a great illustrator uh, named Benjamin Vincent, who, who did the great artwork for us and uh, it came together really well. I think it's about four minutes long and it tells a story in a way that I think kids will enjoy and I think grownups would like it too. Well, I appreciate you taking the time to tell us about this. Where can people go if they want to watch the video? We're going to put the link in. Is there a special link to send them to? You can, you can either go to just straight to YouTube, type in No Better Letter, or you can go to our firstliberty.org and it's posted on our site as well. Well, I so appreciate your time. Thanks so much for coming on. Well, Billy, thanks for having us. Take care.